The Sheffield Kidney Institute provides a range of services for people with kidney disease and kidney failure across South Yorkshire and North Derbyshire. There are a number of people who are at risk of kidney disease, people with diabetes, people with high blood pressure, uh, people with heart disease. Um, in addition, there are a number of communities that are also at risk of kidney disease, so members of the Asian community, members of the African Arabian community are at higher risk. And then finally, there are families who have kidney disease inherited, and they are also at higher risk of kidney disease. We have 1,300 patients or so who have kidney failure who are on either dialysis or have a kidney transplant. Roughly 700 of those have a kidney transplant that's working and just under 600 of those are on some form of dialysis that they require to keep themselves alive. And, and beyond that we have perhaps several thousand patients who have advanced kidney disease but who don't yet require dialysis. I had my transplant in 2007 and it failed in 2010 and since then I've been on dialysis again. Kidney failure has a lot of effects on your life. Um, I've recently dropped my hours at work to part time because I'm too tired to work full time. Um, I miss out on a lot of family events, particularly on a Friday night. Um, we're due to go away for the weekend and I can't go with everybody else on the Friday because I'm here so I have to go on the Saturday instead. I actually spend about 12 hours a week on dialysis but I'm at the hospital for 15 to 20 hours a week. After dialysis it leaves you feeling tired, sometimes a bit sick. Um, I'm very hungry. Uh, the physical effects of dialysis um, for myself have been problems with my muscles and tendons. Um, I've fallen over twice and I've torn my cruciate ligament and also a tendon in my finger just from falling over. The next stage in my treatment would be a transplant. Approximately back in 2006 I went to my GP for a diabetic review. Uh, I've got diabetes type 1 since the age of 7 which puts me in a high risk group. Uh, I went there for a blood test and a few weeks later I got a phone call. I got uh, renal disease. I had my kidney transplant in 2009 December. I had a living donor transplant for my wife Jo. Kidney disease is a strange disease. It made me feel tired, lethargic, uh, difficult to walk up hills. Immediately after my transplant I felt absolutely fantastic. I felt full of energy even though I was actually in bed still. It was just amazing. I decided to try and give something back so I became involved in Sheffield Area Kidney Association which is known as SARCA. Research is incredibly important because it's transformed the lives of people with kidney disease. Forty years ago kidney disease was a, was a killer and a fatal disease and now it's a, a treatable disease. So research is important because it saves lives and it improves lives.